welcome everyone uh, for today's concept like today we are having it lead code with javascript again problem number 2634 now today's topic is regarding filter the elements from an array so there is in a particular method named filter in the uh, arrays methods you can directly use the filter method we did a polyfill for map method in the previous classes now we are going to do the same polyfill for the filter see the question number 2634 in the lead code sir you can have it given an integer array arr and a filtering function fn and return a filtered array which is filtered array okay so what it will take if we input array is 0 1 0 10 20 30 and if a function is greater than 10 then it will return only 20 comma 30 is 1 so you can actually use basic filter method if you use it like map dot filter for example if i write it here return arr dot filter fn it will be done it in a single line but that's not what they are asking it for they said it explicitly they said it explicitly please solve it without the built-in array dot filter method so indirectly whatever the filter method do we are creating it manually so let's create it sir let's do it here Let's create an array const arr uh, uh, filtered filtered arr and which is initially empty. I am returning it filtered arr and let's do this sir. Now in this filtered arr what you will do? first let's go to the array let's write it here for let i is equals to 0 i less than or equals to uh, i less than arr dot length then it will go to each and every element i plus plus this is used to iterate through the array sir so that means it will go to each and every element into the array and then it will take it each and every value if it is matching with the function and then we will take that value and we will push it into uh, we will push it into the uh, filtered eraser let's write it here let's call the function for function i am passing it arr of i when i pass a function arr of i the function takes one or two arguments the two arguments number from the arr which is arr of i and the index i so i am passing it arr of i and index i and whatever it is returning it the function returns whatever it returns then that value will be inserted okay that value will be inserted sir filtered arr dot push and whatever the value it's returning it we are pushing it we'll just see okay so the problem is we are getting it actually 0 0 1 0 1 1 that means we it is sending it this function is sending it true or false so i will keep this function inside a if loop and here if statement and if this if statement is true only in that cases then this function will be pushed into it so if the if statement is true sir then i will push it into this and I will push the ARR of I. If the if statement is not true, in that cases it will not be pushed. Now let's run it. See, when I passed it here, 0, 10, 20, 30, what happened here? It went to each and every element 0. Then it will check it like whether it is accepting that condition or not. The condition is false here because it's greater than 10. It's not greater than 10. So false 0. So if it is false, it will not do anything. Only if it is true, if the function is returning true. In that cases, it will go and it will push that value into the filtered array. And after everything is over, I am just returning the filtered array. Okay. So this is to iterate the whole array, sir. We are having in a big O of N. Uh, big O of N uh, kind of time complexity but it worth it yeah that's it for that's it how you do create a polyfill in the filter method sir you can even try to create it uh, polyfills for every default method you want that's it for today 
and thank you everyone